So I saw a message on the Adobe eLearning community, and it was a question about adding a new custom size, but also like to change the default sizes for the responsive layouts in Adobe Captivate 2017. Is there a way to do this? And uh, well, the good news is there is, and this is an issue that you know may come up from time to time. You have all these drop-down choices here. If you are designing your e-learning course, you can preview it on an iPhone 6, an iPhone 7 Plus, iPad, Google Pixel, Galaxy S6, and a Samsung. No, this is one I've added, actually. Um, you know, and it's real easy to delete the ones that you've added. So if I wanted to delete this one here, I can just go minus and it will get rid of that. And But I'm always stuck with these six. And what if I don't want to have those six? What if I'm using something entirely different in my, my particular e-learning shop? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close Adobe Captivate right down. And we're going to navigate to a location on your hard drive, or in this case, my hard drive. And it's C drive. We're going to look for program files, Adobe. And we're looking for Adobe Captivate 2017 X64. And we are looking for an XML file called device list. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. I'm going to open it with, uh, let's say, WordPad. Now, of course, if you're running a Mac, you might open this with a different application. WordPad's going to work for me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some information here. I'm going to change can delete to one. One. Same thing here. One. One. Hang on. One. And one. So there's the six items that uh, that are the default previews that are available in Adobe Captivate 2017. I'm going to save this to my desktop because it's not going to let me save it um, to the original location. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Save as. We can minimize this. I'm going to copy this. And it's probably important that you back this up before you paste it over top of the original one. You want to back up the original document that's there. Let's hit paste. It's going to warn you saying, do you want to replace the file in the destination? Yes. You're going to have to give administrator permission to do this. Continue. And it puts the new one in place there. So now when I open up Adobe Captivate 2017, and I create a new responsive design project. I'll be able to delete any of these items that are now on this preview dropdown. So if I'm never going to design a course for Galaxy S6, I can delete that and delete the Google Pixel and so on until I get to a point where I've only got the desktop. And then of course you can add any items that you wish to have as well. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.